into the food system. I can't really say it here because it might get me banned. She's a big girl. Oh, she's a big girl. Oh, she's a big girl. You've been a good girl, huh? I wouldn't even feed you that chicken. No, I won't even feed you that chicken. No, I won't. No, I won't. Oh, all right, guys, we're going to get right. <laughs> we're going to get right into it. Man, sometimes... Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. I was uh, cruising my, you know, social media accounts the other day and I was just kind of flipping by and I came across this picture of a gal who bought some chicken meat from Aldi's, okay? Now, not much, you know, going on with chicken meat from Aldi's, but when I looked at the picture, I was like, whoa, what kind of chicken meat is that? One thing for sure is we can't count on the news every day to give us all the information that we need so we can make the best choices. We have to turn to citizen journalists. That's what I've been trying to do lately too, is trying, trying to find stories that people are posting just like out of the ordinary that they're like, man, what is, what, what is this? What could this be? So I ran across this article while I was cruising through one of my social media feeds and she was very reluctant to even post the picture. It's a picture of some chicken that she purchased at Aldi's and she was cleaning it up before she cooked it. Like a lot of old school people like to clean their chicken before they cook it. She was starting to clean it and then she started peeling back the skin a little bit and this is what she sees in her chicken, right? So she's like, holy smokes, I've been cleaning chicken for a long time, a lot of years, and I've never Never seen any chicken that looks like that. So that's chicken that she purchased at Aldi's and I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention and show you the picture of this chicken that she purchased at Aldi's. And then I also wanted to share with you what happened when I shared that picture on one of my social media feeds and some of the responses that I received to that picture. So one of the pictures that someone shared underneath that post says, I had the same thing last year. I got the chicken at Aldi's. It was sick looking, brought it back. The chicken also had what looked like a green color tumor. And then they sent me pictures, as you guys can see, the pictures of that chicken from Aldi as well. Now I must admit, Stacy and I, we don't really buy chicken from the store. We don't even eat a lot of chicken, but the chicken that we do get, we raise ourselves. And some people in this feed were saying that there's a, a thing called, whatever it's called, spaghetti meat or something. And it's maybe when the meat bird puts on the meat too fast and you know, the muscle and the fat cannot you know, catch up or keep up with it so you get these strands in there. And I was thinking to myself, man, you know how many meat birds we've raised over the 15 years of us raising meat birds here on the farm? And they put on fast weight. And those are called the Cornish crosses, which we don't raise anymore. We actually prefer the Freedom Ranger birds. Those are a little more down home, if you will. Uh, so I didn't really buy that. We've opened up a lot of birds here on the homestead. Uh, we may have seen some tumory type growths or something like that, but we've never seen uh, this kind of meat that I'm sharing with you here today. Another commenter said, Doug, this happened to me the other day. My chicken looked exactly like that and I bought chilled organic free range chicken breasts and hard skin on the top and underneath was stringy. Another commenter said, I never buy chicken from Aldi. It disintegrates when we cook it. Another commenter said, I've been seeing this in, in chicken as well from other grocers. Also getting a weird rubber-like texture. I had to start ordering from a vendor to get real chicken. Just remember all the while, while I'm showing you the pictures of all this chicken that we've introduced these into the food system. I can't really say it here because it might get me banned got me in a lot of trouble before just even talking about it. So I just have to show you what's going on. They've introduced that into the food system along with some other stuff too. Casey and I, we haven't bought meat at the store in a long time, 15 plus years, but we do raise our own meat birds. And I can honestly say out of all the ones we've processed and we've eaten and all that here on the homestead, I've really never seen a bird uh, the insides look like that. So you guys leave some comments down below uh, with your stories about how the food is at the store for you at this present time. And maybe if you share this video enough, we can kind of get a, you know, uh, what do you call it? The people's press where we can all just kind of share our food stories, what's going on with the food at the stores right here on this video. And then we can get a general consensus. And then that way we can realize that realize, realize, 
real lies. <laughs> All right, and we just know that we gotta be careful when we're getting our food out there. I would suggest to you guys just vet your local people if you can, if you can find some local people that can provide you with the food. They say right now that the average plate of food travels over 2,000 miles to get into your belly, and that's a big problem because the longer the food is off the vine or you know away from the source, if you will, uh, the less nutrition that you're able to draw from it. Okay, just let that sink in. Think about that for a minute. Share the video with your friends. This chicken meat was at Aldi's. I have some other posts from people there uh, shopping at Aldi's getting the same kind of a chicken meat. I wouldn't maybe say it's every single breast, uh, but I would say that they are finding them in the meat. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, and hopefully you'll share the video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Did you guys know that in the 16, 17, and 1800s, chocolate was consumed as a beverage? There was no such thing as a chocolate candy bar. Well, we're bringing chocolate tea back to the 21st century because it's loaded with antioxidants our body loves, and it's a great source of magnesium that's wonderful for bone and heart health. It's a great addition to your coffee machine or your French press or just along with your favorite sweetener. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com along with our brand new tea infuser. Simple to use for easy steeping. Cheers!